In this video, we'll be learning to use brackets and orders of operations. Let's uh, give you this problem. 2 plus 3 times 4. How would you go about solving this problem? Would you work left to right? Would you do? Would you add these numbers before you multiply these numbers? Would you multiply these numbers before you add these numbers? What would you do? When we have multiple operations in an expression or equation, there are some rules that we need to follow in order to get the right solution. If I decided to work left to right, I would do the 2 plus 3 uh, first, which would be, uh, so 2 plus 3 is 5 times 4 is 20. But this is actually not the correct way to do it. If I was to do it by using multiplication first, so let's write this out again, 2 plus 3 times 4. If I was to do it the correct way, I would actually do the multiplication first. So if I wanted to like 2 plus 3 times 4, I'm going to do the 3 times 4 first. So now I end up with 2 plus 12. And now I can add these together, which is 14. Now, now this is the correct way to do it. But why? Well, that's because we have some rules, and that includes our orders of operation. Now, you may have heard of these things. You may have heard of PEMDAS or BODMAS or BIDMAS. These are little devices that help us remember our orders. These are actually exactly the same thing. They just use different letters. Today, we're going to think specifically about this one. This is the acronym that I like to use, BIDMAS. And we're going to use this one today. It doesn't actually matter which one you use, so long as you use these four steps. Bid mass. Each of these stands for something. But really, uh, we can break this down in four steps as well. And I'm hoping not to confuse you today. So the first one is step one. We think about our B. And we can think of this. Our first step is to solve the brackets. So B is for brackets. P might be for parentheses. It doesn't really matter. And when I say brackets, I mean something that looks like this or something that looks like this. Technically, these ones are parentheses, these ones are brackets. It doesn't matter what we call them, so long as we do what is in these first. The second step is indices. So we then want to solve the indices. And an index or indices are just a way of writing repeated multiplication. For example, 3 times 3 can be written as 3 to the power of 2 or 3 squared. Similarly, 3 times 3 times 3 is also the same as writing 3 to the power of 3 or 3 cubed. Then we start grouping letters together. So for step 3, we actually look at the D and the M. This stands for doing our division and multiplication. So we want to solve our division and multiplication. Sometimes we might get both of these in the same problem, and then we want to go left to write if we've got two of them in the same problem. This will make sense in a little bit when I do some demonstrations. And then we've got step four, which is addition and subtraction. So we want to be solving last addition and subtraction, and we work left to right when we're doing that as well. Let's look at an example for each, shall we? Let's think about brackets for a second, shall we? So say I've got the problem, three, uh, bra opening bracket, three plus four, closing bracket, times two. Now, I've got some brackets here, and I, so I want to do whatever is inside these brackets first. Brackets are just like bags that we throw maths stuff in, which we need to do before we do anything else, because then we're going to do, multiply whatever we get in here by 2, which is outside of here. But first of all, let's do this. Whenever I have a problem that has multiple steps, I like to work down my page. So I've got 3 plus 4, that is 7. And then we're still multiplying that by 2, because we haven't done anything with this. I've actually gotten rid of the brackets by doing that. I don't need them anymore. And 7 times 2 is, of course, 14. Now, this looks a little scary. Notice I've got a bracket inside a set of brackets. I work from inside out. So I need to work out what's inside this one. Then I'll be able to work out these ones. Then I'll be able to worry about what comes next. So let's work out our innermost one first. So I would like to work down the page actually, so I'm gonna keep this bracket here. So it's still two times whatever is in here. Now three plus five, two is five. So that just goes there. It's still divided by five. I haven't done anything with that yet. 
And now I can do this bracket here. 2 times 5 is 10 divided by 5 is, I can work that out now, is 2. So my answer for this one here is 2. So now we have done our brackets. So now we're up to indices. Indices are repeated multiplication. So 4 to the power of 2 is not 4 times 2. It's actually 4 times 4. The same way 4 to the power of 3 is not 4 times 3. It's 4 times 4 times 4. And 4 to the power of 4 is not 4 times 4. It's 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. And we do this as our next step. Let's have a look at what this looks like in a problem. Let's have, for example, 2 plus 4 squared. I would like to work down my page once again. So I'm going to do this one first. Now, 4 to the power of 2, remember, not 4 times 2, it's actually 4 times 4, is 16. So I can rewrite this equation, this equation now, which is 4 plus 16, because that becomes 16, which is 18. That one is fairly straightforward. What if, though, you find index or indices inside of brackets? Let's see what we do. Now I've got an index inside this bracket. Now, what I do with this, I need to solve my bracket first. That's what it tells me to do. Then, actually, to solve the bracket, I need to work out what this value is. So 3 to the power of 2 is 9. So I'm going to rewrite this as... Uh, 9, because that becomes 9, plus 6 times 3. I haven't changed anything else yet. I've just worked out what this value is. And then I'm going to go down to the next one. I'm going to work out what 9 plus 6 is. 9 plus 6 is 15. And actually, I don't need the brackets anymore, do I? Times 3 is 45. And that is indices. Our next step is to do division and multiplication, and these are as important as each other. So if we have division and multiplication on the same one, we then work from left to right, just like you're reading a book in English. So for example, that looks like this. If I have 20 divided by 10 times 6, I might be tempted to go, oh, well, I want to do the multiplication first, that's easier. No. We've got both of these signs. These are as important as each other. So when we have both of them in the same one, we work from left to right. So I want to do this one first. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go down a line. So 20 divided by 10 becomes 2. And then I've still got to times that by 6, which equals 12. And so that is division and multiplication looked at. Our last ones, addition and subtraction, we've been doing this whole time. So I'm not going to look at those ones again right now, but we are going to look at them in just a moment when we solve some other problems. So those four steps, again, our first step is to solve the brackets. The second step is to solve the indices. Step three is both division and multiplication. And step four is addition and subtraction. Let's put our new knowledge into practice with a tricky problem that uses all of our operations. Oh my, well, we've got all of our operations here. Let's start by solving or simplifying our brackets, because that's our first step. We want to solve whatever is in the brackets first. Now, we've got lots of brackets, so I'm going to just do one at a time, and I'm going to move on to the next line, rewriting whatever I haven't solved so that I don't get confused. Let's see how we go. So first, I'm going to look at this one here. So on our next line, that turn, so I'm going to solve this one. I need to work out what this index is. That's part of solving this bracket. So I'm going to go 4 to the power of 2 is 4 times 4, which is 16, minus 7 times this here. And next step, I'm going to solve this bracket here. So I've got 16 minus 7, and I actually will get rid of my parentheses or my brackets here. 16 minus 7 is 9 times this here. Now I can work on this one. I want to find out what my innermost bracket is first. So I'm going to rewrite my 9 there. And it's 1 plus 3, which is 4. And I'm going to go down one more line. 9 times, now what's 4 times? 4 divided by 2, which is 2. 
4 divided by 2 is 2. So now we've just got 9 times 2, which is, after all of that, 18. And there we go. We have used all of our steps to solve this challenging problem. So in this video, we have learned how to use brackets and orders of operations to solve problems.